so far the uh, World Rugby League Cup Tour has been a fantastic journey. Bringing it outside of Mosby and bringing it to our, our people, our really small people outside, mums and dads, daughters and children. For them to be able to to have a touch, have a connection with the World Cup trophy. So when we host the three World Club uh, World Cup games in Port Moresby end of the year, which is against Ireland, USA and Wales, uh, they can all feel part of it. We all know that they want not everyone in Papua New Guinea will be able to come down to the National Football Stadium, but bringing out here in a way we have that connection. Very much the same as all sets we did with the Pacific Games uh, relay button, which we brought it, brought across the entire country. So it's been a very fantastic journey. Uh, its province, its district has been special on its own way uh, from the highlands. From Wau Bulolo, where we started, the heart, heartland of rugby league, where rugby league first started. Up to Goroka, Engonofi. Uh, Daulo area, up to uh, Tari, our own area, uh, Southern Highlands especially Kurubu uh, area, Mora area. So it's been fantastic, the journey so far, and now it brings us to the island, I think, and, and to Kokopo. We had a fantastic journey in Kokopo in uh, Arabal district, Kurakakao. And also to Gazelle district uh, in uh, Wunakanao where there was a special ritual and sacred uh, ritual involving tumbons. Again, fantastic. Uh, uh, bringing it to the villages, to the community, and to Newcrest staff. We flew to Kavie and again drove down the famous Buluminski Highway and engaged with the villages. Uh, the trophy had the chance to re-engage with the, uh, the eels at, at Lare Bina, uh, Lokurumau. And then uh, today, now we, yeah, this afternoon, now we're at Nango Island. And I think first time on a boat in Papua New Guinea for the trophy, and first time to come on an island, a small island like this. And again, We'd like to thank Nucris for being partners with us, be able to bring it to New Ireland.